Hi, my name is Karen Colby and I'm coming to you today as Mother Goose. I brought my friend Feathers. Feathers really likes to listen to stories being read and I really like to read stories to boys and girls. I think it's fun. I've always liked to read. Reading is something that you can do when you're all by yourself and you don't have anybody to play with. You can get a book out and you can pretend. Some books are the kind that even if you can't see the pictures in the book, you can close your eyes and use your imagination and pretend. We all know the difference between being real and being pretend. Okay, if I told you to be a snowflake, you couldn't really be a snowflake, but you could pretend to be a snowflake. You could flutter and move your arms and move your feet and pretend that you're a snowflake just fluttering very, very gracefully down to the ground. That's using your imagination. And that's what we have to do with some of the stories that we read. I'm going to read a funny story today. It's called Pout, Pout Fish. And look at his face. He looks like he's pouting, doesn't he? Let's see what it says. Deep in the water where the fish hang out lives a glum, gloomy swimmer with an ever-present pout. I'm a pout, pout fish with a pout, pout face. So I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a clam with a wide winning grin and a pearl of advice for her pal to take in. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your cross town frown, don't you think it's time to turn it upside down? Says the fish to his friend, Nice thought, Miss Clam. I hear what you're saying, but it's just the way I am. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes a jellyfish. He floats through the ocean, his tentacles all trailing in a gentle locomotion. Hey, Mr. Fish, with your daily scaly scowl, I wish you wouldn't greet us with a grimace and a growl, said the fish to his friend. Mr. Jelly, I agree. I'd like to be more friendly, but it isn't up to me. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub 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 along comes a squid quite a slender squiggly sight she is squirmy she is squelchy she is slightly impolite hey mr fish you kaleidoscope of mope how about a little smile a little joy a little hope said the fish to his friend Mrs. Squid, I would try, but I haven't any choice. Take a look and you'll see why. And he's kind of tangled up in the weeds that are underneath the water. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish, let me tell it to you straight. Your hulky, bulky sulking is an unattractive trait, said the fish to his friend. Mr. Eight, my chum, with a mouth like mine, I'm destined to be glum. I'm a pout-pout fish with a pout-pout face, so I spread the dreary wearies all over the place. Blub, blub, blub. 
Now along comes a fish in a silent silver shimmer. The gang has never seen before this bright and brilliant swimmer. She approaches Mr. Fish, but instead of saying, hey, she plants a kiss upon his pout and then she swims away. Mr. Fish is most astounded. Mr. Fish is just aghast. He is stone-faced like a statue. Then he blinks and speaks at last. My friend, said Mr. Fish, I should have known it all along. I thought that I was pouty, but it turns out I was wrong. I'm a kiss-kiss fish with a kiss-kiss face for spreading cheery cherries all over the place. Smooch, 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 smooch. Look at his face now. He turned his frown upside down and made it into what? You're right. He made it into a big smile. That's what we have to do sometimes. If... For example, if we want something and someone says, no, you can't have it now, then we get grumpy and we pout, just like pout, pout fish, blub, blub, blub. We keep that pout on our face and it's not very much fun to look at. But eventually, if we change our attitude, that's how we feel, then we can turn that frown upside down, and make it a smile. Then we're not a pout-pout fish. Then we're a kiss-kiss fish with a smile. So stop and think of that. The next time you're grumpy and you want something that you're not getting, then stop and think. Don't be a pout-pout fish. No one likes to see a pout all the time. Turn that frown upside down. Turn it into a smile. I hope you like that story. I like the story of Pout Pout Fish. Blub, blub, blub. I hope you did too.